Okay, this is fun, folks. I'm just having a fun preaching day today. Um, I have to speak quietly now because it's after hours in our shared house here. But I'm having fun here. And I love speaking truth. It's pure health and it's pure joy. Um, so back to the story of chocolate. This is hilarious, but it's also very eye-opening. Okay, And the reason it's such an important story is because the scientific name of chocolate is God food. Theobroma cacao. Okay, and the word chocolate parallels father perfectly, the name above all names. But what is chocolate? It's supposed to be a drink, like the Mayans had a pure drink of um, the cacao straight from the plant, dissolved in water, and they drank it. The closest thing that we in the West, as far as I know, can do to compare to what they have is just pure natural cocoa powder with water daily and it's terrific for your health to, to get your God food in you. Um, but the story of chocolate greed is so huge and so insane that when millions of people all over the world finally wake up to this and finally get to the truth and finally do what the original Mayans did, the whole story is fascinating and it is steeped in greed. But if you, in short, okay, the people of uh, Central America, okay, the Mayans drank where, where the cocoa grows, okay, um, they drank cocoa, pure cocoa from the tree with water for hundreds of years. And they were stinking happy and stinking healthy. Christopher Columbus comes over, okay, from Europe with his little crew, and they discover these people. And we've never seen cocoa in our lives. This is in 1492. But all of Europe had never, ever, ever tasted this stuff, ever, in their lives. They come over, and they discover these people that are so, so excited about these cocoa beans that they trade them as their currency. And if one bean even falls from a canoe, they all run to pick it up as if an eyeball had fallen. That's how, that's how precious they knew cocoa was. They knew it was the cat's meow of human consumption. They knew that. And I believe that the, um, uh, the Mayans were some of the most beautiful, healthy, long-lived people in the history of um, the world since the flood of Noah. I believe that, okay? And there's many reasons for that, but I don't need to get into that now. But um, when you realize that the Europeans took this stuff, went back to Europe, and ultimately in the story, okay, you can read it for yourself, someone figures out how to mix the healthy cocoa powder stuff with saturated fat, refined sugar, and now they create this solid confection called the chocolate bar. And it looks really nice, and it has an infinite shelf life, and it presents really shiny on the shelf, and it melts in your mouth, and it appeals to your sugar addiction, and everyone buys it, and all of a sudden, you're getting rich. You're getting rich. And these people were owned by the devil, okay? And they were just, they, they were not filled with the Spirit of God. They, they didn't know anything about human health. And they were just getting, it, it's, it's disgusting, okay? And so that's why the story of consuming pure natural cocoa powder is like a secret. I call it the secret of the Mayans, okay? If you ask any young person, if you ask anyone in North America today, in North America today what chocolate is, all of them, without fail, will say it's a solid chocolate bar that you eat and it goes snap in your mouth. Well, that is not the truth. The word chocolate actually means a drink, and it comes from the ancient Mayans. Okay, You have to understand the sovereignty of God over history. Okay, it's The whole story from beginning up until now is a story of something that was so pure and so natural in God from the very beginning, like Adam and Eve consumed things in the Garden of Eden. I'll bet you anything, Adam and Eve, well, Adam and Eve must have had 
Okay, there, there were obviously cacao plants in the Garden of Eden because obviously they existed after the flood of Noah and ended up near the tropics, in the tropics where they still go today, yada, yada, yada. Okay, but um, long story short, the story of Theobroma cacao, God food, is a story of something that began, that was consumed so pure and so healthy and so natural and isolated in the beginning. And all the way up until now, since the Europeans discovered it, okay, in 1492, when Christopher Columbus came over, it has been 100% taken over by pirates. It has been prostituted with all sorts of crap, all sorts of marketing, all sorts of unhealthy junk that has been added to the, the, the healthy stuff. Furthermore, the healthy stuff has been processed, the snot out of it, so it's no longer even close to as healthy as it, as it is from the plant. And it is now, and it's put on shelves in front of you, like the Mayans would have never imagined the insanity. And it's all wrapped in shiny foil, Easter bunnies, Easter eggs, uh, solid chocolate creations for Valentine's, for Christmas, for Halloween, for your birthday. We all know how big chocolate is. We all know it's the cat's meow for people to eat. We all know how huge it is. But it's a story of a God-given food that has been prostituted by greedy whoremongers over the course of hundreds of years, and I am calling real humans to go back to the roots of this gift, this, this gift that in the history of God is called Theobroma cacao, which means God food. That name was put on it by Carl Linnaeus, who is the founder of all scientific naming, Christian originator of all scientific naming, okay? a holy man, like an ordained man. It's a God story, his life, okay? And the story of Theobroma on this plant is, is ordained by God, the true God, Father, Jesus, and Holy Ghost, okay? You need to consume this stuff in its natural form in order to be set free from all the junk out there. Because the junk will not take you to the promised land of what cocoa does for you on the inside, which is a host of benefits, okay? I can be very primitive with you and say that it's a vasodilator. Fundamentally, it opens up all your blood vessels. It's like blossoming your entire uh, blood vessel network on the inside, like a tree blossoms in the springtime, and um, your cells get more blood flow and more oxygen, and it makes you happy from tip to toe, from your brain to the toes of your feet. It makes you happier on the inside, and your body loves it. And your body craves less other foods because it got all the delicious life-giving blood flow that it was actually looking for by means of the cacao. okay? I might be overstating it a little bit because I love it so much, but not really, okay? Now, so, in short, can we please bring an end to this demonic, insane prostitution of chocolate? And I mean insane. I mean every greedy whoremonger is trying to get a piece of this creation of God and milk as much money from the ignorant as possible. And you cannot tell me that it's not happening, and you cannot tell me that it hasn't been happening for hundreds of years, because that's what the history books and the bank ledgers and the superstore uh, ledgers are all saying. So do your part to exit this matrix of greedy or mongering. Get natural get pure natural cocoa powder from somewhere, anywhere. I don't care if it's a Hershey's branded one or somehow you find a no name source somewhere and consume it by yourself with your family and your friends in private with plain water, just like the Mayans did for hundreds of years, and experienced all the joy, all the happiness, all the long life, all the oxygen flow, all the blessing and paradise that cocoa does for you on the inside for pennies a glass, less than pennies a glass, okay? Now, I have had words from the Lord on this 
okay, that you can take all the way to your body for a lifetime, okay? Words from the Lord that I've had related to this that all divide by five the number of joy. Hot cocoa, hot water, okay? Do the math on these letters and see the fives for the number of joy. Okay, Theobroma cacao is 120, going 50, 50, 20. Joy, joy, bonus, 20 points, okay? Um, but the Lord said to me, hot, hot water is, is beautiful fives, the number of joy. Hot cocoa, same things, okay? But it's just the pure cocoa powder with water. I've had so many words from the Lord on pure cocoa powder, and um, but you need to consume just the pure raw stuff like the Mayans did for hundreds of years, and you will be set free from grocery store insanity. Like, folks, in my opinion, this, remember, the Mayans traded this stuff like currency. In my opinion, there is no substance or product that you can purchase that is a more satisfying value for your dollar physically than pure natural cocoa powder. And, and that's across all products that you can spend your money on. You know how if you go, like at the company Amazon is just as insane. You know, Amazon, A to Z, buy anything from A to Z. Walmart, buy anything from A to Z. You can spend your money on thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of products. You can, there, there are millions of things, okay, that you can spend your money on that are an offer to take you higher. Well, there's only one that has the highest value physically for your happiness and your health that is the, the linchpin, and it's called God food, Theobroma cacao pure natural cocoa powder, and in its pure natural form, no one can really profiteer off it because it's pure. It's natural. There's nothing done to it. There's nothing, there's no reason for, there's no reason for an upsell. So do your part to exit, and once, once you drink this stuff regularly, regularly in your diet, you'll notice there's so many benefits. Easy weight loss, um, just it'll, it'll curb your cravings for all the other junk. You will be set free financially. Your food bill will go down in all the right ways, the way you always need it. I could go on, okay? But do your part to exit this insane matrix of food marketing lies and drink your daily pure, raw, natural cocoa powder like the Mayans did, and you will be amazed. Mark my words, you will be amazed at how it sets you free from all the other crap that you used to spend money on and were not getting satisfied by. And I can say this as a person who has been through so much of that stuff and this stuff has changed my life and I know it'll change yours, okay? And glorify and it, it glorifies God. Because remember, God loves to be talked about. And this stuff is called God food. But you need to take it in the raw. So a few more truths to set you free from, from lies. Okay, I, I just want to give you the whole story because it's a mind-blowing detective story that is rooted in greed and it's all based on financial lust. Remember, the definition you know, of a profiteering gag is something okay, that keeps you coming, that doesn't actually satisfy you, but just gives you just enough to get you addicted and keep you coming back for more without satisfying you very well. That's the definition of a disgusting profiteering gag, okay? St st all coffee is that way. Drop kick your coffee and switch to pure cocoa powder. Coffee ultimately robs your brain of oxygen, okay? And it is not a vasodilator for your whole body. And it's a profiteering sucker. It does nothing but bring profits to the sellers of it, okay? While bringing you actually very little satisfaction day in, day out, okay? Um, now, um, but yeah, so when you look, so if you pick up any, this is hilarious because there are thousands of these suckers out there. If you pick up any solid chocolate product, a chocolate bar, and look at the ingredients list, you will see, uh, these things, and I'll describe, sugar will be very, will be near the top, which is not healthy for you. Pure refined sugar is not healthy for you. Okay, um, not in the quantities they put it in there. It is not okay. If you want to get set free, there's a, there's a, there's a video on YouTube called "Sugar: The Bitter Truth" by UCLA. Okay, 
But the second thing you'll see on these ingredients list of solid chocolate is uh, terms like cocoa mass and or cocoa butter. In short, those are both terms for saturated fat, pure lard. And when you see a picture of what that pure lard looks like, it's literally the solid yellowy lard that is like the solid fat deposits that you would find on an overweight person. It's literally yellow lard. But on the back, on the ingredients, it's like, oh, cocoa mass, oh, that sounds so good. Or, oh, cocoa butter, oh, that, 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 yeah, that sounds pretty good. It is pure saturated fat and it is solid lard that you do not want coming into your body. I repeat, do not. And it is precisely that stuff which is what makes a solid chocolate bar a solid. It's pure lard, folks. The only reason that it's brown is because of the little amounts of cocoa in it, or whatever co amount of cocoa in it. But you do not want to be eating solid lard. That's what it is. So, once you get set free, oh, it tastes so good, it's the sugar. I'm, it, it's mind-numbing how liberating this is, and but how tear-jerking the whole story is. But do your part, okay? You need to get set free first and convince yourself, and then you will tell everybody you know to do this. Because, mark my words, there is a cocoa powder revolution coming to this world. The more people do this, first of all, it sets you free from all solid chocolate products. And secondly, it sets you free from so many other unsatisfying foods that are not called God food in the scientific ordinance of God and weren't really satisfying for you in any way by comparison. By the way, another thing you need to get out of your diet in order to make sure you get this happiness from this is gluten. North American wheat is currently a gmo mutant. It is not real wheat. It only grows like a foot tall and it has the seed reproducibility removed from it from companies like Monsanto and that is cursed. But it is classified as an opiate upon your brain. It actually makes you depressed when you consume it and tired and drowsy. So you need to drop kick gluten and get pure cocoa powder in your diet to enter the promised land of, of joy and happiness like you've never felt before. Okay. Um, and I can't say enough about this because it's huge. It's big. If you get people on cocoa powder, they will get set free from fast food stores, restaurants, and all the other dumb food offerings that are everywhere in North America. It is huge. Do not think that cocoa powder consumption is a small thing. It is 